Hey YouTube, Hill Country Husker. Appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Thanks for all the subscribers. Appreciate the comments. Keep them coming. Just want to say thanks for that. Got some good news. I've got some bad news. Which do you want first? Alright, let's go with the good news. Let's start out the day with something good. Uh, down over in San Antonio, you recall, last year they announced a program, their RFID student ID tracking program that they were going to uh, institute into a couple of their low attendance schools down there. Um, basically what it is, uh, all students are required to carry an ID card. Well, these cards have RFID tracking technology embedded into them. Uh, they have decided to drop it. They're doing away with the uh, tracking program. And here's the good news behind it. Why are they doing it? Here's what they said. They received complaints from the public and the main thing that caused them to drop this was a single lawsuit that one student's family, when they heard this program, they said, I don't think so. It ain't going to happen with my child. The school said, the school system said, your child will carry this ID card or they will be expelled. So they took their child out of the public school system down there in San Antonio and put her into a private school and filed a lawsuit. And what the good point about this is that this was one, one individual one family stood up and said I'm not gonna let you track me electronically it's not gonna happen one family made a big difference and now the San Antonio school system down there is saying okay we give and they announced that that was the reason such a public outcry that the the parents of the students down there at uh, I think it's Northside Independent School District did not want their children tracked electronically. That's the good news. There's bad news in that too. Let me just talk about this real quick. You know, when the school, school down there announced they were going to do this, I, I can't remember what the dollar figure it was. I think it was like over a million dollar program that they were going to put into this to get all these RFIDs. How much money did that did they owe the taxpayer how much taxpayer dollars did they waste on this stupid ass program just in the end realize the people weren't going to stand for it and have to scrap it and you know and the only reason they're doing this is for the money in the first place they said they're doing this in their low lower attendance schools. There's two schools, I think a, uh, a high school and a middle school that has low attendance. Well of course the school system gets money every time they put a butt in a chair. They get federal funding. So that's what this is about. It's about money. So they're wasting money trying to get money. Anyway, it's good news. They stood up they said, we're not going to take it, and the schools down there back down. That's a good deal. I like that. Now, here's the bad news. I've talked about this before, too, and I'm sure you've heard about this. This is the license plate scanning program. Uh, it's in full bore, folks. Uh, this is also down in San Antonio. I heard this on the news. They're, they're putting this in place. And what it is, if you don't recall, they have these devices. You, they can mount them onto uh, stoplight poles. They can have, uh, carry a device in the uh, patrol car that the police drive around in. Uh, any law enforcement official can have this, and all they have to do is point it down at your license plate. It scans it, loads it up into a database. They compile all this data, and they can track you. Okay. There is no policy to purge the system. If you're a law-abiding citizen and 
you're just down at the mall, or you're just driving down the street, or you're just parked out front of your house. They can come by, scan your license plate, you get uploaded into the system. Then the next week you're over cross town doing something. They come by and they scan your license plate again and they go, oh, last week they were there, this week they're over here. Well, that's interesting. They say, they being the federal government, state and local police enforcement, they're doing this as a protection of you and me. And the protection is, is that, well, if there's a, a known felon and we have his license plate, then we can track him and catch him. Uh, if there's somebody that uh, loses, it, gets their car stolen, you get your car stolen. They have your car in the system. Well, next time they uh, run a scan on a bunch of cars and your car pops up, boom, they got it. Okay. Um, what it is, is that it's, it's surveillance against you without your knowledge. They can do this when your car is parked, when your car is moving, wherever they choose to do it, and they will keep it on file in a huge national database now, indefinitely, forever, forever and ever, and then for a little bit longer, if needed. And they'll have all of this data and they will know your every movement. That's the bad news. And how much money, how much federal money, tax dollars that is, are they spending on this? God knows. It's got to be in, in the billions, I'm sure. A, a program this large, it's a waste and it's an infringement on your rights. It's an infringement on your privacy. Now, thank God the ACLU, I don't always agree with what they do, but they're leading the charge on this and they're saying this is wrong. So I think that's a good thing. They're taking that, that that up and they're saying this isn't going to fly any more than that RFID thing down there in San Antonio did. So, good news is they're doing away with the RFID tracking program in the schools in San Antonio. Bad news is nationwide they're going right on ahead with the licensing scanning, scanning program. So, I guess you got to take with the bad with the good. Just my thoughts, Hill Country Husker. Thanks.